Hi guys, Lewis here, and welcome back to another YouTube video today. And here with behind me, we have the Audi S3 Black Edition, and as you see by the plate, it's a new one. Silver uh, with the quad exhaust pipe. It gives you the privacy glass at the back and the rear windows. The front windows remain the same. You've got black mirrors and they're usually sort of a brushed um, aluminium. And you've also got a black room here, um, which really complements the style of this car. I think if you do get an S3, a black edition is a must. Um, I don't think it's too much more expensive to go for the black edition, um, but it's definitely worth it worth the money. In regards to the wheels, these are sort of the Audi Sport wheels. They kind of look like uh, RS3 wheels actually. And you've also got, hiding behind the wheel here, you've got the S logo on the brake calipers, um, which you can option for in rear. With the engine of the S3, um, it has had a bit of a tweak to it, not for the better. Um, I mean, it's got the 2 litre 300 PS engine in there, um, the TFSI engine which are really good engines, efficient as well, um, when you think what kind of car this is. However, they did tone the engine down slightly. I mean, if you're looking at sort of an 18 plate, 67 plate, um, then you get the fridge and the brake horsepower one, which is a lot better in my opinion. But with all this WLTP emission scandal, um, they've had to tone that down. Um, and whilst they've toned that down, the engine doesn't sound as good as previously. It almost sounds like a regular A3. Um, I mean, once once the engine's warmed and run in, um, it does sound a lot better. But it, um, for now, it doesn't sound great at all. It sounds like a regular A3. Speaking of engine sound, here is um, where all the noise is at. So you've got the quad, the door pipes at the back. I mean, it does look aggressive. Um, I think they've, it's a nice sort of design feature they've got there um, with the quad exhaust. And obviously, when you go for the RS model, then you get the over ones. Um, yeah, it's the same exhaust system that they use across sort of like the S Q2, um, which you don't know, which I think I'll give you a video of that. Um, but as I said, not the best sounding. Um, yeah, let's get in and rev it up. Swiftly onto the interior of this car, um, it's a nice place to be. I mean, you 
wouldn't really um, know the difference between this and normal A3 other than on the screen in front of me um, you get this sort of layout here uh, which is out of the sports layout which is across like, the RS and S ranges um, and they've now actually introduced that to the 2 litre um, TT Black Edition as well you can get that sort of layout as well so no longer exclusive to the sports cars of the Audi range um, you get a Quattro badge here for the passenger on the front um, and also you've got an S logo down here but yeah as I said this is that comes with sort of an S line um, A3 anyway um, it's a nice place to be you get leather standard as well um, it's a nice quality leather and you've got the S logo on the seats here um, on the back and they do hug you in quite well very comfortable on short and long journeys and I've got no complaints about the seats whatsoever to be honest you have the paddles on the back which is quite fun in a car like this you'll find yourself using them quite a bit um, it adds to the experience of having the um, NS3 really and the black edition would give you bang knowledge for speakers in the doors which is a very very good system I mean you get subwoofer all of that I mean it's loud enough I mean it sounds like a nightclub in here if you do turn it all the way up um, even halfway is um, loud enough to be honest um, you've got black roof as well which I believe comes standard in the S line and heated seats as well which is a nice touch from Audi and you do get some sort of like interior lighting at night around the speakers and around the cup holders as well um, and also in the footwells and another difference that the S3 has over the regular S line is the floor mats so if you look at the mats they've got a red sort of trimming around the edge um, yeah just another sporty feature that Audi has to offer I mean as a driver from my view um, very say usable you can customize how the virtual cockpit works and if you've watched my previous videos you know I'm a big fan of the virtual cockpit um, you can do quite a few features which I'll show you now so you get two sets of views you can go over to the map you can literally zoom all the way out to the Earth's atmosphere if you want um, and then yeah press view here then you've got the sat nav on the left of the screen time and date on the right and then you've also got a boost bar down in the corner here so when you're driving um, I'll tell you how much boost you're getting um, which is another cool feature um, I tend to drive sort of like this with my sat nav there that exact layout and then I'd have my Apple CarPlay um, plugged into the middle of the screen as well um, and I find that quite easy to use as I said, we will go into a driving video in this car, probably over the next week or two. Get behind the wheel, I'll tell you how it feels. Um, but yeah, if you are looking to buy this free, I'd definitely consider buying one. I would say go for the slightly older one. And when I say slightly older, I mean one a few months old after they've done the revamp to the engine. Because sound is quite a big, or well, say quite an important thing really when it comes to a car like this. And this car just doesn't sound as good as it once did. Um, I mean, this car is around thirty-nine, forty thousand uh, pound, which is definitely worth it. It's, I think it's cheaper than um, sort of like the A forty-five as well. And Mercedes have actually just brought up the A thirty-five, um, so this is around the same price as that. Um, but I did see a video on YouTube um, where the S three actually did smoke it in the quarter mile as well. Um, and yeah, it beats the Golf R in every way as well, so it's definitely worth the extra cash um, over the Volkswagen. And another competitor would be BMW 140i. I mean, this is more of a usable car. The BMW is probably a bit more fun, but this car just gets the job done. Yeah, I think it's quite an easy car to drive, um, as you will see in my next video. And anybody can sort of jump in and drive this. <laughs> I mean, just leave it in efficiency or comfort mode that you use with the drive select button here um, and then yeah it's just sort of a standard car and then things really do change when you put it into the dynamic mode I don't know if the camera picked that up but it had a bit more of a, a rumble than usual as it opens the valves um, and another cool feature this car has is launch control which you would have seen at the start of the video um, actually no let me put it in here 
right front of brake. Traction control off. Have the car in S dynamic mode. Um, not the right foot on the brake, sorry. So you put your left foot planted on the brake, right foot on the accelerator, and the revs will hold at around 4,000 RPM. Then literally just let go of the brake, and the car will just launch forward, and it will get you to 60 in something like, how do you say, 4.7 seconds? Um, but I believe it has been recorded about 4.5, 4.6 um, as well. And yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to touch on. I mean, it's pretty sort of like a normal everyday car. You've got the climate control here as well which heats up the car quickly um, and cools down the car quickly as well. Um, screen's controlled here by the Audi MMI system. Um, I believe the new A3 is coming out at the end of the year, so you probably have the new touchscreen that you would have seen in the A1, which I had. Um, and my favorite feature about the car is the automatic handbrake. Um, I think this is just a, a must now. I can't imagine really driving a car without that. That and the technology pack, both really, good features that you kind of take for granted and you only realize when you get in a car that doesn't have it how um, nice they are to use right guys so that's been my video on the Audi S3 um, I think the video is going to get a bit more exciting once we're driving the car because that's what this car is all about but I just wanted to give you a quick walk around to consider and buy it to show the ins and outs of the car um, and I will be giving you sort of a better opinion once I drive the car